Now there are two types of links. There's nofollow and do follow. Nofollow links tell the search engines not to pass on any SEO benefit, any search engine optimization benefit to the site that they're linking to. So when you leave a comment on a blog or you create a link in your username in the comment section, um, or you put a link in your comment, for example, it's typically nofollow. They do, however, provide a little bit of benefit. For example, Wikipedia is a nofollow site, but a link there can and does provide a boost to your site. And I'm actually going to show you how to get Wikipedia links in a second. Do follow links, on the other hand, tell the search engines to pass on the SEO benefit of whoever is linking to you and what's called page rank to the site that they're linking to. Now, page rank is sometimes referred to as PR, and it's basically the quality or reputation of a site or page. And basically, the higher the number, the higher the quality of that site or page. So it's on a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 being the best. So a site like Google or USA.gov would be a PR 10, as we would say. And a new blog or an in inactive site might be a PR 0 or a PR 1. Well, Google never published an entire site's page rank, only the page rank for individual pages, but most people use the home page as a good indicator of the site's overall page rank. So if you look at number nine and number 15, number nine, SEO visibility, meaning how high those sites rank in the search results and backlinks from news, do news domains at number 15, which I'm gonna show you how to get in this section as well, are the second and third most important factors with relation to backlinks. Now, you wanted links from high PR sites because in the search engine's eyes, it was essentially a vote of confidence from a trusted source since high reputation sites usually only link to other quality websites. Now, the reason I keep talking about it in the past is because in October 2014, a Google spokesperson confirmed that Google would not be updating PageRank anymore. The last update was in December 2013, so PR might still be relevant in 2015, but I would follow what's called domain authority from now on. This is updated every three or so weeks. Now, domain authority is another measure of reputation from a company called Moz that used to be called SEO Moz. And it's similar to PR, and the correlation between the two was always pretty tight, except it's on a scale from 0 to 100, with a higher domain authority, meaning a higher quality site. So just like with PR, you'd ideally like links from high domain authority sites or high DA sites. But while getting a link from a high DA site can be very valuable, the real search engine power is going to come from sites within your niche linking back to you. So if somebody else who runs a similar blog or business links to your site, it can be more powerful for your keywords and site than a link from a high domain authority site outside of your category, even if the linking site has a lower domain authority. Okay, so you want relevant sites to link to you. And in fact, having more than 80% of your links coming from websites outside of your niche can have a negative effect on your site in the search results. In essence, for any particular keyword, the websites that show up on the first two or three pages of the search results are going to be the most relevant and valuable links that you can get. Another thing I'd like to add is that you don't want to avoid sites with a low domain authority, let's say in the 30s or 40s, just because they're not the cream of the crop. Collectively, several DA30 or DA40 backlinks can provide a lot of search engine juice, as we would say, to your site, especially if they're in some way related to the topic of your site. It's also true that there are programs that can literally create 1,000 links for you overnight by submitting your material to very low quality sites, basically sites that'll accept anybody's link. But Google search engine has become a lot better at sniffing out sites that use programs to build links to sites simply to increase the number of them. Now you do want to get as many links as possible, but you want to build them over time, have them increase in number steadily, and you want to get them from trusted and or relevant sites. So a site that was getting a few links a day and then suddenly gets a hundred or a thousand overnight without any legitimate reason for the spike, for example, a viral article, is going to be spotted by Google and you're going to be penalized for trying to game the system. Well, on the flip side, a site that was getting, say, 30 links a day, but is now down to 10 or 15 a day, could also see their ranking slip. This is why link building is considered an ongoing effort and why new backlinks are number 14 in the search metric study. 
Now, if you create quality content, other people will create a lot of new links for you, but you should also make an effort to get your material into as many channels as you can, just like you would with advertising and your other marketing efforts. Uh, SEO expert Jason McDonald, who wrote the SEO workbook, likens SEO to working out. It's something that you should be doing regularly. I want to mention two final things about link building. There are diminishing returns from getting links from the same website, so you want to diversify your link building efforts. At the same time, it's not always necessary or advisable to try to get links to your homepage. This is most likely going to be the page that you get the most links to, but you want to get links back to several of the pages on your site. So when you're scouting for opportunities, have a particular page on your site in mind that you want to rank for. Maybe one page doesn't have as many links as another, or maybe it's a new post. So just to recap, you want a nice mix of keywords in the links back to your site, not just the same good keyword over and over. You also want to mix up where your links are coming from build them over time, and try to get them from relevant blogs and businesses, basically people in the same field as you. Page rank is out, domain authority is in, and you want to think of link building as something you do, say, every week, an ongoing part of business. So if you promote your material using the methods in the social media portion of the course, people are going to be creating a lot of links for you, especially those people within your niche. Now this part of the course covers some rather uncommon methods of getting links that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. So go ahead and click on the first video and let's see how to build some links.